But first, I'm afraid it's true, the recessions even reached a God slot this week, along with the news that Catholics, Methodists, Anglicans and many of the evangelical churches are reporting more people in the pews now that times are a bit tougher. Not that the news is all good for them. Church pension funds have been hit as hard as everyone else's by the downturn. And though vote of candle sales are up, apparently, many charities have seen donations drop dramatically. So is recession good for religion? Or for that matter, is religion good for recession? Well, to help me answer this and other questions, I'm joined by Stephen Neal, a Church of Ireland minister, who thinks he's spotted a role for the churches in these harder times. Brenda Powers, a columnist with the Sunday Times. And Jerry O'Hanlon is a Jesuit priest who's recently written a book entitled God and the recession. Jerry, first to you, what, what is the, the book about? It tries to look at what's happened over the last, say, six months in the light of church teaching. So I was a bit skeptical at the beginning that people would be interested or would see the kind of connections, but I do think there, there are major connections. I suppose one of them immediately is that people need comfort at a time when they're under great stress. But I would think it's a pity if it stopped at that, because really what we want to move beyond is just a personal approach to religion, which is important, but into a more social critique, if you like. And I do think that there's rich stuff in all our Christian traditions, indeed in, in religions in general, about what it is to be a human being, how society is organized in a way that can be helpful, uh, the sort of thing that... And, and Gayla Merkel, the, the um, German Chancellor, said recently that she thought this was an opportunity to look at the prospect of inventing capitalism with a conscience. And I really think we've suffered for too long from mm. capitalism without a conscience. And I think church teaching can help and the scriptures, and, and that's the kind of critique, if you want, I wanted to propose in this book. Okay.